Axiom 250 is the advanced computer forensics with Axiom, and what it uh, what it covers is it covers the initial investigation uh, reported uh, from two individuals. One by chance is named Ken Davis, and one is named Nick Day. Uh, those two are in collusion. One works for the company and is stealing the intellectual property uh, from that company and exfiltrating that data out uh, to Ken Davis, who is awaiting to receive that data to sell it to a competing company. We utilize a different software along the way. Uh, what's great about this class is we also uh, utilize validation software. So no matter what we show you with an Axiom, we also show you a way to validate everything uh, with validation software. This class was designed uh, specifically to cover both law enforcement and uh, corporate uh, students. And the reason why is it was built around an intellectual property theft case. However, um, that easily can be translated to uh, CSAM material or any kind of material that, that you're trying to take from one place through the means of, of a computer, secrete it through the network, and then, and then get it out uh, to somewhere else without getting caught. Uh, they, they do so without using thumb drives, without you know, using, like, utilizing cloud uh, data, email, and through the use of uh, Google Drive and, and OneDrive. So this is basically, it's for everybody. My personal history had a big play in how this, uh, this course was built. Um, so I'm the, one of two people that built this course. And uh, you know, the background doing investigations, there are certain investigations that stick out to you and certain investigations that just look like every other investigation. This is one that stuck out because of the artifacts that were left behind. At the time, I had to manually piece each one of these artifacts together because there was no tool that did that for me. And what took me over uh, 12 weeks of, of doing manually, I would think, uh, would take me you know, no time now with, you know, we teach it in four days, so uh, it would take about that same amount of time. But throughout my history of, of doing exams, there are some hard exams and there were some easy exams, and I would consider this one of the, the harder exams, which is why we made it uh, part of the course. So I've you know, I had 16 years worth of federal law enforcement time, and of those, uh, 12 years were as a senior forensic examiner. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying I've been there and done it all, but I've done quite a few exams, and out of those, this was, a, this was one of the harder ones. The one thing that people take away from this course more than anything else is learning that they don't know what they don't know. And I think that when people are done with this class, uh, they realize that the more they learn, the more that's out there. Um, this is an advanced level uh, investigations. And sure, we, you know, we call it advanced uh, examinations with Axiom, but it's advanced examinations. And oh, by the way, we show you how to do it with Axiom. Uh, because, we do, because we utilize all of the validation tools in there, you could do it, it'd be a very manual process, but you could do it with other tools. Uh, the idea that we do it um, with, with Axiom opens up people's uh, minds to the timeline explorer, to the, um, the artifact explorer, to the, all the way down through to the connections explorer, where you know something that looks hard, once you take an artifact first approach, becomes a little bit easier and not such a manual process because once I connect the dots using connections, uh, the computer manually uh, calculates all that data for me and it's something that I don't have to spend my exorbitant amount of time uh, steering towards the finalization of my investigation. So. After taking this course, it's my belief that if they're law enforcement, they'll probably take one route, and if they're a corporate uh, customer, they'd probably take a different route. If they're law enforcement, they'd probably follow this up with Axiom 320, our cloud investigations course, or, uh, or, or immediately following that one, uh, they, would, they would follow that up with a Axiom 301, which would be a Magnet, Axiom, and Great Key uh, course. However, if they're, if they're corporate customers, they might want to follow along with Macs, depending upon if they have Macintosh investigations in their uh, corporate environment. So uh, if they're academic uh, customers, again, they may want to do the same thing with Macintosh because of the proliferation of Macs in the academic environment. So I, I guess it would depend on what organization the student's from, but those are the two, two classes I would say would absolutely follow this one.